Okay, well let's look at number nine first. That's a normal trinomial. They say that it can be written in that form. Which basically means they're asking you to do what? Um, I don't know. I think it's like a street thing. To do what? To substitute. Substitute thing. Wh what, are you, what are you going to substitute? I don't know. That's just what I think. Okay, but have you done a question like this in your uh -huh. exercises or somewhere before? No way. No. But how do you get exercises on this thing? I don't know. They're not giving us one um, this semester. Any exercises. Yeah, but where do you get these questions from? This is like the assignment thingy for the workshop. Yeah, but, but surely you, you can't be given a question if you have not done any of the the techniques before. I mean, you're supposed to know that this requires completion of the square. Does it sound familiar? Have you ever done completion of the square? I don't know. I think so. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm just worried. I mean, this is ridiculous. You know, they can't give you questions to do, but you don't exactly, you don't even know what it's called. Does the words completion of the square ring a bell? Have you done that anyway? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Let me take you through it then. We take that trinomial. Okay, x squared plus 4x. But then we leave a gap before we write the minus 8. Okay. Alright, now inside that gap, we write a bracket squared, and then we subtract that same bracket squared. So we're not changing anything as far as the value of our expression is concerned because we added a bracket and we subtracted it immediately afterwards again. Okay. Now what comes inside that bracket is half of that number. So what is half of that number? 6. No? Just 2. Oh, 2. Alright, and there. Okay. Okay, you still with me? Yeah. Alright, now those first three terms will be a trinomial that is a perfect square. In other words, it can be factorized oh. into two brackets as x plus 2, x plus 2. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. But it can also be written as x plus 2 squared. Oh. Are you still with me? Yeah. Okay, and then that's minus 8, minus 4, which will give us minus... 12. Okay. Are you with me? Yeah. Alright. So what is the value of P? Um, I don't know. Well, look at that arrow. Um, two. Yes. And Q? 12. Minus 12. Minus 12. Hmm. Oh. Do you see the same format there? Bracket, oh. squared, plus Q. Oh. So all you had to do was to complete the square. Oh. You happy with that? Yeah. Alright, can we move on to number 10? Okay. Okay, it's a simple method then of completing the square. Alright, the shape above is made by removing a small semicircle from a large semicircle. Okay, calculate the area of the shape, which I presume is the shaded part of the, the figure. Okay, so any suggestions? Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, what we'll do, first of all, is we'll find the area of the, the bigger circle. The complete okay. bigger circle. So what is the formula for the area of a circle? Um, I forgot the name. Is it that, um, um, no, I can't remember. 
Well, just look at your screen. Oh. <laughs> okay, which gives us 22 over 7 times pi. And what is the radius of the bigger circle? 12. Yes. 12 squared. Okay. Alright, so calculate that for me. 22 divided by 7 times by 144. Um, 452,57. 452,57. Yeah. Okay, 57, which will then be s squared centimeters. Okay. Alright, then we go to the smaller circle. Okay. We calculate the area of the smaller circle. What is the radius of the smaller circle? Also 12. No, no. Huh? Can't six. be. Yes, 6. Okay, so calculate that for me. 22 divided by 7 times by 36. 113,14. Okay, but now we've calculated the areas of the full bigger circle and the full smaller circle. Do you agree? Yeah. But we don't have the full circles in this drawing. So, what is the area of the half of the fuller circle? Um, so, what is the area of half of the bigger circle? Oh. Because we're only working with half of the bigger circle. Do you agree with me? Okay. But then we get um, 226,285. Comma two eight five. Yeah. Okay, and what is half of the s the area of the smaller circle? Fifty comma fifty seven. Comma fifty seven. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you agree that if we take the bigger circle? Or half of the bigger circle, right? Which is that figure, yeah. and we subtract half of the smaller circle, we will get the shaded area. Yeah. Because we've taken away half of the smaller circle from half of the bigger circle. Oh, okay. Okay, so what will the answer be then? Hundred and sixty nine point seven one five. Okay, that's it. Huh. You happy? Yeah.